And once again, you found another powerful edition of The Brew. Jersey Joe here, I in the box over there, live from Las Vegas. And we love talking about food. We know you do too. So the good question we put on social media this week is, what is the best McDonald's Happy Meal toy? Something that you've had in the past or something you think McDonald's should serve to kids along with their meals? Lots of good answers coming from the show here. You know Joel and I have our ideas to share with you as well. So join the fun right here, right now on The Brew. And let's see if we all can give some McDonald's Corporation some great ideas. Joel, what's your favorite Happy Meal toy? My number one that I would pick is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got uh, Leonardo, you got Raphael, you got uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, and you got Donatello, you got Michelangelo, and you got Master Splinter, and you got uh, Emily Ratajkowski, you got April, because, uh, well, actually, I'm just kind of making shit up now, but it's the Ninja Turtles for sure. Uh, and, and Super Mario. Super Mario would be cool, too. But maybe for this generation, like, um, I don't know. I don't even know what the woke generation would have. LeBron James? I, I don't know. What, what do you think? Well, one thing, I think McDonald's tried to do a Nintendo Happy Meal at one point, and I might be wrong, this is off the top of my head, but I think there was some licensing, licensing issue and it never happened. I could be wrong, so hit me up if I am wrong on that one. But I think it would be a great idea. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is good, but remember, though, their favorite food was actually pizza, not hamburgers. But it would have been hamburgers. It would be a nice tiny more. But, yeah, you're right. Who, who You want the toy, right? Well, I will tell you what my favorite one is. Back in the 80s, I loved the TV show Dukes of Hazard. Yes, I understand cancel culture now. It's, it's, it's bad to the General Lee flag and all that. But back in the 80s at McDonald's Happy Meal, they would actually serve you your meal in a styrofoam cutout of the General Lee, a Roscoe's police car. You got Dixie, the Jeep that ran around. I think Cooter's even tow truck. They were fun. I had the whole set. You could take them to the pool if you wanted to. You had little stickers you put on there. So that was fun. Ninja Turtles, also very, very good. And a big one that I love, though, are Garfield. There was there's always like every week they give you know, like Garfield collectible glass you can like drink out of. And you know the little glasses for kids had fun little comics on the side. So that's good too. But the very first Happy Meal that I don't remember ever getting was for Star Trek The Motion Picture. I'd love to have that collectible now because I understand they're worth big money. Oh, Joe's a big time Star Trek fan. For anybody not watching the show and doesn't know, yeah, Joe, Star Trek, yeah, that would, that would be probably my first guess for you. Make it so, live long and prosper. I do enjoy Star Trek. It's, 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 Is that that? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm impressed you can do that. Nice. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, well, you guys had a lot of good answers out there on social media, so let's get some of your ideas. What would make a great McDonald's Happy Meal toy? Well, Starman's going to start this one off with a bang because he says cigarettes. <laughs> Jay City picks 1991 Gravedale High Frankenstein toy with moving tongue. NBC Rare Vintage McDonald's toy, 1991. I'm probably one of the few people's, the people that are, understand exactly what Pete's talking about. The Gravedale High uh, show on NBC that's long, long dead. Speaking of graves. Giovanni says the Ghostbusters Slimer Happy Meal toy is my all-time favorite. Ooh, Joel, that's another big one that we got to talk about from the 80s, though. Like, Ghostbusters, anything you got Ghostbusters, like, that was a license to print money for companies back then. I, I, I have to actually talk about that, too. So my grandparents actually gave me that toy, the one that he's talking about and the one that he sent the picture of to you and me. I've had that, and like, I've had a couple of the ones in the set, and those were so much, those were cool. Like, I totally agree with him with that. Too bad they didn't give you, like, a little cup of that slime, you know, from Slime where you could screw around with, you know, and put behind, like, people's ears and stuff and, like, a little prank war thing. That, that'd be fun. Why not? They just throw it at other drivers while they're trying to look it out their windshield. Like this guy that won't stop beeping his damn horn parked outside my window here live right now. <laughs> More of your comments. Vinyl Sports says, a mini flying disc from Tron. Denise Perry Durham, Hot Wheels and Barbies. Oh, she's right. That was very popular. Melissa, 3679. I believe that's supposed to be Fraggle Rock, not Fragile Rock, but it might be on an iPhone, so you know how that works. Al Randy Riverside says, Food-themed Transformers. Well, that's a good one. Bronx Bombers 46 has another big 80s toy, the Smurfs. Hey, remember the Smurfs? They were always a good time. Uh, barely. I was born in 88, so I, I was there for, like, when they kind of, like, died out in popularity, but, yeah, they were cool. Like, that was a good thing for kids. That was another, some, like, licensing issue happened with the Smurfs, and they, it, it wasn't they weren't unpopular, it was just they somehow weren't allowed to be out anymore. I don't know, he got sued. I know they're back now with Neil Patrick Harris and movies and all that, but, you know, not, not a bad cartoon. Craig Wiseman, 33, he says, a Rubik's Cube. No, 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 no Rubik's Cube. I have no damn patience to there and figure out a Rubik's Cube. You got to get some uh, Rubik's Cube uh, advice from Logic. The rapper Logic will tell you how to do that. 
Let me give you my advice how to fix a Rubik's Cube. You start peeling off those stickers on the side, you line them back up, that's all, and you're done. Yeah, Problem he's talking out the window. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jay City Picks Pete has another one. It says a McDonald's Monopoly game that isn't corrupted by the mob and investigated by the FBI. Good miniseries documentary. McMillions, Rafa Guitar, he says we should give out an N95 mask. Funny, Mike Mason agrees, and a McD mask with a hole in the middle for your straw french fries. Well, if you want to keep your children alive right now in this whole COVID world situation, maybe a nice, you know, Hamburglar mask, you know, put on there. That'd be appropriate. Yeah, not a time-sensitive good answer. The McDonald's one is kind of funny, um, uh, especially with how McDonald's treats people. But those, uh, those french fries completely preserved are, are really, really good. I mean, they're horrible for you. It's like shitting a brick, but, you know, you, it's tasteful. Who's your favorite McDonald Land character? Uh, that's actually kind of a good question. I'll go with Grimace. i go with Grimace. He was purple and cool before Barney came around and f***ed everything up. <laughs> I have two. The one I like is the Shamrock Shake guy who's long since dead. It's Uncle McGrimace. He's basically Grimace's green cousin. They would serve you the shamrock shakes. But the other one, of course, is the hamburger because I love, I love a good burger. And, well, I think they also kind of put him away now, too, because the whole can cancel culture thing, you know, and you shouldn't be robbing people and stealing their burgers. But, yeah, that was fun. Uh, Ronald McDonald, to me, was always just weird. Just I, I, I never got his deal, you know. It's like, oh, let's dress up like a clown and play with little kids. Oh, I know. That was, yeah, that's, there's some weird shit going on. Like, Chris Hansen is probably like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the first Ronald McDonald was actually yeah, Willard okay. Scott, the Today Show Weatherman. He was the uh, very first Ronald McDonald. But, you know, fine food, it's a good time, and, you know, it's a good time for a great taste McDonald's. That was their 80s logo. And it's also a good time right here when you click that like, subscribe button down below for the four big shows on the Jersey Show 50 YouTube channel. And you know there's lots of McDonald's shows on there, other fast food shows as well, plus games and all kinds of stuff. And, of course, Joel and I here on The Brew each and every week. I gotta be honest now, once again we did one of these food shows, Joel, and now I'm kinda like in the mood for a hamburger. There's nothing wrong with a super, super preserved McDonald's hamburger. Even if you order it now, it'll still be there 100 years from now in the exact same condition. So just order it, put it on your counter, and wait till you want it. Especially if you have like a long since preserved McDLT in your freezer, you know, or in your refrigerator, or even in your cupboard somewhere. You know, the hot stays hot, and the cool stays cool those days, you know. Antiques, people pay big money for that. So there you go. Well, hey, that's some great ideas of McDonald's Corporation here, and hopefully they use yours and tag you on social media like the Yankees did with your tweet last week, Joel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. Jersey Joe here, Eye in the Box, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, I hope. <laughs>